Hey guys, HerbQuest here with some clips of day three of the tournament. I ended up getting a couple of prayer levels early on, mostly because I need the ecto tokens for animal magnetism, but I figured, eh, why not get a few prayer levels while I'm at it. Then I went right back to Wilderness Slayer, which is really overpowered in dead man mode in my opinion. 25 points per task, and all of the tasks so far that I've encountered are relatively safe. I've ran into a few PKers here and there, but nothing too compromising. Been keeping up with my farm runs. I like to grow the jute over in Yanel so I can protect the sweet corn, and then I use that for tuna potatoes since shark are really expensive this is a great alternative I like to get the potatoes and stuff at Gnome Stronghold too the food at Gnome Stronghold is really good as well you can combo eat with it like um, Kwam ones and I there's actually I, I'm not sure if this is intended or not it might be a glitch but there's no delay on the gnome food when you close out of a bank and eat it like if you have a pre-made veggie ball or tangled toad legs you can just eat it right after closing but that aside got a clue scroll done nothing too spectacular from that extra pair of black dragon hide chaps ended up selling that for a pretty penny and I did some more wilderness layer got another ice warrior task well not another one the other one was ice giants actually this was my first warrior task it's not a bad task I'm really tired right now by the way I've been grinding for I don't even know how long since I woke up Currently, though, I'm at 79 range. I'm probably going to keep working on that throughout the night. Oh, by the way, uh, in case anyone was looking for me in Dank FC, I'm with Soup this tournament. Third Age Films, if you know him. He's a cool YouTuber, lots of good guides. I might link his YouTube channel down below. Actually, I will link it, not might. It'll be down there. If you guys haven't heard of him, I can direct you over there. Now uh, this fight here was interesting. It was it seemed pretty close, not really close. I got him pretty low. I was mostly trying to see if I could get a clan member to come help me, but no luck with that. It seemed like he was stacking bruise actually because he was able to hit as he was eating, so he definitely had bruise. I was uh I didn't have the right supplies to take him. And I bought him as well as I could all the way down to my emergency brew. And then I'm just like, yeah, fuck this. This guy's range level is way too high for me. And dipped out. And then that lit guy got on him, which was pretty cool. I mean, I'm not in Lit's clan this season or anything, but that was very helpful there. I didn't have to sit in prayer flick while brewed down and play aggro games with the hellhounds then I got another bandits task these got less sketchy the more I got them I ended up getting a total of three different bandits tasks but they're not that bad really. They're really good XP too because they have super low range defense so you your accuracy is incredible. You just end up hitting like every time. And I think most of the clans are camping at caliphites and things like that. This task is kinda off the radar. I think also because uh, it could be a bad to have a war there. And then this guy, uh, if I didn't have agility he definitely would have killed me with the rims there and Carol's and Carol's crossbow. I just step across the course and 
he can't do anything about it. And yes, I'm bank standing right now as I'm recording this. I don't have a decent AFK, activi AFK activity to do right now. But I've waited this guy out by just training on the skeletons under here, and I got a really surprising drop actually, that champion scroll. I don't know if that's going to be useful at all in Dead Man mode, but it might be. But then I just finished off my Ice Giant task. It went pretty quick. I shot a couple of uh, warriors here and there with the crossbow in between kills because I got sketched out after that guy was there so I went to the less popular spot that didn't have the cosmic rune spawn because I already camped the spot with the cosmic rune spawn a couple other times before so it didn't really seem like all of that big of a deal to not get a hundred cosmic runes as slayer task I've got all the bolts that I want enchanted just some emerald bolts I might try and score some diamond bolts. I don't know if I want to invest the time in fletching, though. I gotta still work on my combat stats. I'm a little bit behind as far as that goes. I'm ahead of where I was last tournament, though. Every tournament, I do a little better than last time. This time, I don't have uh, decent gear yet, really. That's one thing I need to work on. Maybe get some Barrows gear. I need that one more final upgrade. If I could get a Varix helm and a Varix skirt, that would be, I think, optimal. But I don't know whether I want to grind out the money for that. I could try and go for a whip and get a second whip with Slayer and then trade one of the whips for maybe a carol's piece or something. I know I want to go ranged for the final hour. Well, let me know what you guys think so far of the strategy, and uh, wish me luck. Only a few more days left. Peace, guys. Oh, and I almost forgot. Cool little trick I found out. Well, not really trick, but just something I realized in general was that Nightmare Zone is still playable in Dead Man mode. That came to a lot of people's surprise. I've known that it's been playable for a few seasons now, and I've taken advantage of that a little bit. The full reward shop is not available. But it's a little bit different than the Iron Man mode restrictions. For instance, you can get a couple of extra things out of here, like the scrolls of redirection and the herb boxes. And this strategy comes in, uh, in handy for getting into the desert because, for like desert treasure or getting to Narda for various reasons, whether it be to access the shop there or whether it be to get to desert lizards for slayer to continue on with that whatever reason you need to go to the desert for you can redirect a house tab to Polnavinch and that only takes 20 construction and that's literally just one inventory of regular planks that's it to get 20 one inventory does it pretty much perfectly, I believe. And yeah, it's a free way to get to the teleport. And if you're like me and train agility, if there's any PKers there, you can just dip up top of the Paul Navinch agility course. And if you are a PKer, if you happen to see anyone blackjacking there, that's some pretty free loot. But yeah, there's me getting the scrolls of redirection and the herb sacks there. Or herb boxes, rather. Got some decent loots from those. But, uh, 
Yeah, a little extra tip for you guys who stuck around beyond the ending of the video. Alright, peace for real, guys. Hope you uh, wish you good luck in the tournament. I'm sorry, I'm really tired right now. Whew. I'm about to go to sleep right after I upload this, and it'll be up by the time I wake up, and I'll reply some comments then. Peace, guys.